Welcome to my next uh, tutorial for beginners. I will build a nice city for you guys. I'll show you how to build a nice looking city in uh, just a loop. So let's go. Sandbox mode. And um, to start your city, yeah, if you just need a medium density, don't build high density in the beginning. Medium density is exactly what you need. Yeah, if you have no money, yeah, go for low, but in this case you just can build uh, medium density avenues. So the best thing always is the outside grid. Uh, the terrain is not 100% uh, flat, but... But, 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 whatever. It's a shitty game, so... What do we all expect from a shitty game, so... So we have the outside grid. So let's make a second one. Just using guides to make sure um, I'm gonna be straight. So, so we have now um, two grids. I finished this in a second. So, but before we go ahead, I will draw some um, help lines. So we will need to, those lines later. So I'll go for dirt roads, always the cheapest. So the dirt roads are always. The help guides. So the guides are actually not really helpful, so you make your own. So push just buttons. Just to make sure this uh, will be straight. So. Uh, this is the first reason I know why I use the, gu the guides. Or the dirt road as my guidelines. And I hold the shift button the whole time. Yeah, not when I'm moving, but when I'm building, I hold it all the time, so I can make sure this is perfect. If it's not perfect, the game will actually say it's not possible, so. Second one. Uh, this is our outside grid, but uh, would it be uh, not really looking good if we go out like this? It looks like, um, yeah, some squares. So let's make it a little bit funky. This case, I'm redrawing the roads. But we still keep uh, the other dirt roads. We still need them. Uh, but uh, if we get some issues, we have to destroy it. But for now, we'll be alright. So, uh, I draw the roads longer than, uh, the, uh, than uh, I actually need because those inside uh, guides, uh, I can kill them now because we just need them once, but uh, those we need multiple times. So, let's go ahead, make it a little bit interesting here. And because the game can just um, have roads with four, uh, a road, or four, it's a section with four roads. We have to destroy the guides that we still have after building the one road. So build the road, destroy the guide. And the last one. You see, I forgot this guide. Awesome game, yeah. I just want to destroy it in a game as that's the shit. So Awesome. So now we still have so much space. Looks uh, looks like a window. It looks like an old window. And we actually want to build a new city, so get rid of those. Hmm, the inside. Now we can actually delete those. Now we have to, like I said before, four roads is the maximum. Yeah, if not, the game will fail. In this case, I can destroy the boss. I have two rods and with the shift button, I can make it work. Action one, holding the shift button, that's perfect. And now we can a little bit more, so one more time. Oh, yeah, actually, it's this one. Oh, yeah. 
see that? The guy just moved away. This is some shitty life. Makes no sense. So, and voila. We have the first step of the road design done. Uh, as you can see, nothing is really connected yet, but um, we have to connect a lot. So, but um, this will be it. And the best part of all, I will show you, is this square in the middle. Because we can plop down exactly one high density building. So we can plop down here everything, but I plop down here mostly. I just built it once, so I plop down here my school in the middle. Win win. But let's connect a little bit, make the city a little bit better looking. It's still not looking good, but um, we have already something here. So. So first of all, yeah, we start on the outside. So we have to connect somewhere in the middle with the outside. So let's make it funky. So in this case, I will destroy eight blocks of the road. Oh, it's actually seven. This is eight on this. Yeah, this is also seven. As you can see, I forgot one here, so um, I'll just make it fast for you guys. So the first one is done, and um, look what SimCity gives us. Just like this. You see, this is should, how it should be. Uh, SimCity life. What should I say? And we will get a lot of those glitches here, but it's just um not just glitches. So let's connect um yeah, not just a glitch, it's just shit. But in the end when the buildings are there you will not see it. Even some city cannot handle 45 degrees, it's just amazing, so let's go ahead, same game here. And the last one. It's every time eight, uh, four blocks on the left and four blocks on the right. So, damn. But it's looking better now, but um, still not what you want. So, um, but the next thing is why do I uh, actually destroy all the things? Because. I just want to make some bridges. So if you don't know how to you make bridges, just open your eyes, it's on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I like the Kirby ones more. I'm a guy, I like curves. Not too big, but um, nice curves, awesome. We can upgrade the bridges later, so next one, please. I mean, we have to destroy four. If you just destroy three on each side, now you will see it will not work. I think I made it one too high, but it's just a tutorial. Yeah, sometimes it gives you this. Damn, it's looking already better and better, but still not done. We still need a lot. And we have to, for example, we have to connect the middle. So we're not connected. Um, this square is not connected, but this square is connected now. 
And even this guy is not connected, but I will go from uh, the inside out. So, so now I go for curve mode. Let's just make the smallest curve, and um, if you want, uh, if the game lets you. No, actually I lied, so one, one is enough, uh, the game will just suck. I'll make it always the same, same uh, always to the right. Yeah, if you want you can uh, try some different things. Okay, I'm just, oh my God. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with this game? It's just um, so stupid. There is, a, there is actually a thing with memory in it here, so the game actually can remember when people complain. I will remember, but the game cannot remember the road we just draw. Yeah, I can clearly see it's not perfect here, but make sure everything is the same. But I gave a shit now, so. About a shitty game because this game just annoys me today. Not just today, but in this case here, I put on my um, my high density building. That's the exact size of high density. Because we have to connect actually those uh, this uh, square too. Going to straight roads, making it as short um, as close as possible. Next thing is I will just keep one over. I can actually destroy it. It's just my backspacing building and it's free. If you don't have it, um, use the gnome, the gnome or park, whatever. Figure it out. I think yeah, you will find that. So. In this case, yeah, we can make a high density rod, but um, I think I have to take the same, a medium density. Same game. In this case, because of the third road, we can make two. And because we make two, because of the smaller roads, here we have avenues, one is enough. So now we do this on all the other ones. Yeah, I will show you one uh, park here. Should have them. Um, Yeah, what should I say? It's looking... Nah, yeah. Oh dear. It'll be actually looking the same, but you can see clearly it's uh, two different curves. But yeah, it's just a tutorial, I don't care. You can make it better. If not, yeah, I can just say one word. Actually two words. You said. Like the game. The game sucks still. I don't know knowing why I'm doing this, but yeah, it's okay. Okay, it looks a little bit better, but still. the same now. But 
the game actually sad. Um, oh, we have an issue, we have an issue, damn, the game is so stupid. That's because of the uh, high school. If I, have a, if I have a real issue in the city, the city will not give it a red issue either. Now, yeah, no power, no power. I will exceed power, this is red. But the same issue here. Buildings need water, so... Ah! It's switching red, so you see how shitty you get it. So the game realizes that we are actually looking uh, for the water. The game actually realizes, oh shit, 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 shit. Well, there you can see actually that the game not can handle multiple things at the same time. So, and we are done. So we have now um, connected the outside with this um, square. And we have connected the inside also with those rods. And this square in the middle is connected to this square. Now you can actually see how the traffic, traffic goes. So. And now we just um, need um, one last um, road connection. And because, oh yeah, this was actually the reason why we just built one road here. And you can actually see how shit the game is now. Yeah? We make it all the same. Wow. Just awesome. And we just saw it. We are not able to connect this one. Applause, applause for SimCity. If you don't have SimCity, don't buy it. It's not, it's not worth it. Oh dear, but we can clearly see, uh, if you watch the tutorial, you saw that I made everything equal, same length, and actually quite interesting yeah, how it looks like, awesome shit as hell, and uh, it's just a 45 degree. I, I, show you, uh, I show you how 45 degree has to look like. No. Now the game, the game cannot handle this. There should be a square. There should be actually a triangle. I mean, oh, it's there, yeah. Oh, this game sucks. I will not show you. So let's see how we can get it. I call this the Phantom Intersection. In this case, it was the Phantom Building. So, but again, looks like shit. How can we make it work? Wow! Just wow! Uh, best thing is you would also delete this roll, but I keep it up for now. Just wow! So because it's so ugly as fuck, yeah, if I destroy this, you see what's happening here. Yeah. Just wow! Oh yeah, you can do it like this, but I, I will bring it back. I will bring it back to life. But the question is, why can the game not make uh, four of the same intersections? Look at this. Look at that. And the same shit here, just... Oh, no, actually not the same shit. This is straight. This is not straight, so... But the question is, why do we have those stupid intersections there? Actually, nobody knows. Nobody knows. So, if we now destroy, hopefully it will stay like this. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. You see now they are looking to each other, this looks good. Oh. oh yeah, I know exactly why, because of this. Stupid. 
game. And I'm just making this tutorial for beginners, so good luck with that. Uh, yeah, let's see what the game gives us. Watch on this road. This road is the important road. So we are connected to this one, but if you go ahead, look what happened with the with the second road. So this is now connected. <coughs> yeah, uh, if you go ahead, the road gets bigger. This game is just amazing. Amaze me every time. Yeah, what should I say then? Uh, screw you, stupid game. But now you can actually see uh, what you have to do if you fail or something and not working out well. If you want, just destroy it and rebuild it. So, this is actually what I aim for. It took me a lot of work. As you see, if it not, uh, really looks like uh, you want to destroy it and try it on different ways to rebuild. Now we are finally actually able to put our school in. And we need just a um, few more things because there's nothing worse than stupid intersections. Because those intersections have no purpose um, at all. So In the inside I will destroy two. And on the outside, I will destroy four, like I did with the bridges. You can keep the edges if you want, but they're just stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, if you build cities like this, and you keep this up, you will be a noob forever. Try to improve your cities, and red cities are for. For the beginners, and um, yeah, this is actually where I make tutorial for beginners. So I'll just make a curve. I forgot this one, I'll do this later. So inside two, outside um, four. You can keep it up like this, but the thing is, the square getting smaller and smaller, you cannot keep it up. Um, it will look shit. And you can do it, but it will not look good. Try it out. We will see, but the best thing is make the inside 2, the outside 4. Oh, the last time I did it, I did the exact same city before. Last time I did this city, I did it, um, 7 of my curves glitched. Well, it's just a graphic glitch, it looks ugly, but this is some city. And now not a single one glitched actually, so what should I say? Same server. So if your city glitches, just um, destroy it and try it again, but you have to destroy a lot of roads. So, road design almost done. Now you can actually see, yeah, um, the game lags as fuck. Yeah, if I move, you know, if I turn, especially if I turn around. So now this is normal. I show you, so we need some guides. Yeah, you see what's happened? It's lags. And what is the problem? I disabled the guides. And the lag is done. So SimCity cannot even handle this design without lagging. So it's the guides, and uh, the guides, and even the guides can give you all the things we have: the curves, the the corners, yeah, the curves, the corners, and this is the reason. But uh, some city cannot handle just this guide and this guide. Yeah, as you see, also my mouse is jumping here, uh, jumping everywhere. The, the blue dot, and even. 
Los guys, with one curve guide. I will get lag, lag, lag. Yeah. I disable the guide. Just just those guys. The SimCity cannot even handle it. So okay, you can actually see how shit SimCity is. So I turn it off. No lag at all. So Hell Hydra. So I, sh I tell this everyone every time this is the worst entrance ever. So in this case we just destroy three. If you have an intersection like this, with avenues, just destroy three. And this will be the smallest tunnel, but because of those 45 degree roads. Um, because of this road, then you see it's bigger, we need four. Try the smaller roads, whatever. So, the entrance. So, but I need the freaking laggy guides again. Well, you see how it glitch? Like a frame drop. I take the corner, and I always say, yeah, it's a guide, so I disable the guides, and we are safe. Not even building, yeah, we have one building and just some roads and bridges and even with no AI, with no cars, with nothing the game is not able to end. The only thing we do is using the 45 degrees and um, using the curves on the edges. But yeah, you can actually handle this all. Disable your guides. Just enable your guides if you need them. So, and this is it. 30 minutes, yeah okay, with a lot of struggle, but 30 minutes. Um, I show you now um, how I do everything. Um, let's go zoning, and in this case, you can zone um, the middle actually entirely um, green. So the question is, why does he do this? Why does he do that? So we will do this twice more. So we click. Now we have actually, and the first time we did it, now we get also the curve in it. And because I totally know why I did it, because we just forgot the road. We just uh, destroyed the road before. And no, I don't care now because there will be actually no building here. I, I totally forgot I had to destroy this road because nobody knows why. Oh dear. So I make the inside green. Yeah, you can make some commercial, I don't care. But the only commercial I actually need. Is here. Here. And make it as far away as possible. Here. And there's the mistake. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. I made a mistake. Make it always as far away as possible. The question is, why does he zone this blue? Nobody knows. And I thank you for that gap, but uh, you will eventually nothing, so... So next is we will be industrial. Wind goes like this. So I'll make it um, until here. Yeah, let's make it until here. We need always a lot of industrial. We need... And now you will see why we made a curse on it. Yeah, if you are a noob, work with your grids, whatever. But if you want to learn something, try it out. You see, actually, yeah, it's not um, a grid. You will lose a little bit of space. Uh, you can put the trucks here, no problem. So we have the commercial, we have the education, we have the garbage, and actually, um, we have to start with power, and the wind goes like this. I can actually disarm that. Yeah, yeah, you can upgrade it, whatever. Whatever you want. 
water power. So next will be water and sewage and for for the beginning I just plop it here on the side. Yeah you don't need so much. Okay um in this case I plop it here and if you put the sewage you can plant next to the water plant. You have an infinitive uh, supply on water. It's like how it works in real life. The so next will be uh, more commercials. So I don't make it too small, but um, one more, and one more. Yeah, let's go. This is the entrance of the city. I make some commercial here too. But because of the fr freaking railroad, we are not able to get them on high density. So let's learn some more. Uh, it's a bridge actually. Don't make most of the commercial outside and uh, okay I never built this really big so I think actually the zoning is a little bit not right. I think a little bit commercial but um, you see. Yeah you see um the best thing is always now make the commercial on the biggest road on the outside so you force the traffic to go out but make watch out with avenues now um, make uh, the roads to the commercials mostly avenue and then zone some blue, zone some blue here or there. I will not zone the outside now, so so we need just one more thing, and there's, there's actually three things, but it's um it's a thing we need. Um, ambulance here, you can put it everywhere on the outside, whatever. I need some money, stand box for the win. The cops. Don't kill your um, commercial. And the firefighters are mostly put on the outside of uh, the day. I'm putting it here near to the uh, near to the industrial. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is a nice RCI city. I, I keep it running for a minute. Let's see um, how it goes. Um, we have to pay now um, 8.8k. Yeah. So make sure you have at least uh, 1 million simoleon left. And you will actually reach, just by zoning this, you will actually reach the profit zone in just. Um, Two days, so make a cash cow. One of my previous, uh, a cash meow previous video. Um, yeah, actually, you can raise the taxes in the beginning. You can raise the taxes, uh, make education, make train. Oh, yeah, I show you the train. Yeah, if you don't have so much money, make it up 30. Nah. Let's make the last part train station. You can connect that. That would be stupid. Like this, it's just stupid. I don't say not it's stupid, but it's what the noob would do. And here we go. We can bridge it over it. Um, we were actually able to put the sign on it. So I know actually because. There will be no high density here. We can make it right. Okay. It's actually the reason why I choose curve to get something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even I'm not perfect here. 
Whatever, do whatever you want here. You can go the other way or this way. Yeah. No, yeah, this looks actually good. Oh my god, like this. Whatever. So we've connected. Uh, here, this will be just. Um, you can zone this now. Um, industry. This will just be low density industry here. I just saw in the corner, but yeah, awesome game. That's fantastic. So this is it. Nice looking city, and you still can zone everything here outside. Um, are we able to put Mega Towers in? And no. We can put some Mega Towers here in the corners. But if you want to have Mega Towers in it. Yeah, you have to make the roads bigger, but yeah, if you, if you know how to do this, um, I don't have to tell you. But if you do this, you will be not able to put the density, uh, density building in the middle of that, so I hope you enjoyed. So for beginners, enjoy.